Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Roots and Refuge. I've shot multiple videos this week that you're going to see after, but I wanted to do something quick this morning that I could quickly get up. I didn't want to leave y'all hanging on hope. I have a friend here. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> this is Kelly, my dear friend, Hi guys. who flew in yesterday from Texas, mm -hmm. and we are headed up to North Carolina to celebrate our dear friend Meg and her new See little all our pals. bouncing baby that we're celebrating the soon coming of. Mm -hmm. uh, we have had a group of girlfriends that for the last, I think it's like about five Almost years, five years now. that we have got together for girls weekends. We've used having babies as an excuse. <laughs> we're gonna need to come up we're with a new one. We're gonna have to come up with another We're about excuse. to run out of people having babies. <laughs> yeah, we're, ru we're running out of childbearing friends. So <laughs> at some point, we're just gonna have to get together because we like each other. But we're going for a girls weekend. We're getting ready to leave, but first we're gonna go around the farm and grocery shop a little bit. Yeah, we need some stuff to take with us. Because what we do on these weekends, we talk a lot. We eat really good food. And we food. eat really good food. Yeah. Yeah, all right, let's go. <laughs> Oh look, a new iris. I so love my irises. I have to take a picture every time I have a new one. So we're staying with our friend Brianna. Brianna did homestead on a farm for a while and lives in a neighborhood now. She still grows food in the neighborhood. But um, we, I texted her before I left and gave her a list. Thank you. Um, <laughs> gave her a list. Uh, twist it. Turn it sideways. Um, you may have to push in a little bit. Yeah, yeah there you go. Um, I gave her a list of what I could bring and just had her order her farm food. And now we are going to shop my farm. First thing, we need eggs. I've got lots of them. I'm actually, I've got to get a license so I can sell these at our farmer's market because I have way more eggs than I need. And they're so pretty. Look at them. All right, I'm going to take some freeze-dried uh, mushrooms. These are oysters that we grew out in the woods. I'm also going to take my friend Brianna a gift of tallow for hosting me this weekend. This is a homesteader gift. It's it's what is what is my friend gonna love? Something long store. Yeah. Something delicious and something you can't get at the store. Yeah, exactly. This is it. I grabbed a jar of peach jam. I made this last summer, and the top says peach sauce jam. I don't know if that's going to be backwards or upside down. Anyway, peach sauce jam. What happened here is I just adjust my expectations when my jam doesn't set. So it was supposed to be jam, didn't set. So I just wrote peach sauce because, you know, we could use that also. Then it did set, so it became peach sauce jam. All right. So look at the strawberries. It is becoming the time. This one's ready. Snack on it, girl. Almost, almost. Get it. Ooh, this little bitty is so ready. You better eat it. Better little, get a little snacky. Garden snack. I hope it's I hope it's good. I've had a few that were really sweet and a few that weren't quite there yet. The fluctuating. Ooh, no, the flavor's really good. Okay, good. A little sour. Yeah. It's been it's cold some, hot. so. She wants beets and carrots. Beets. Okay. So these carrots are smaller. Look at all the white butter. Uh, little punks. Right. Yeah, it's time to harvest. All right, well, here's the beets. Oh my lanta. So let's grab some of these. Dwight Schrute would be proud. Dwight Schrute would be proud. Making Dwight proud makes me happy. <laughs> That's the new sticker. How long are these grow outs? They, we sowed these seeds, I don't know, maybe like three or four months ago, four months ago, something like that. It's gorgeous. Okay, let's see. Let's get a few good ones. Isn't harvesting food lovely? Yes. There's a little pretty guy. I want some yellow ones. I have orange ones in here too. I'm trying to get the bigger ones because they'll split. Ooh, that's a good one. Let's see. And I know I have some orange ones in the tunnel next door, so. I can't remember if she said rutabagas. I'll grab a few just to be sure. We can always roast them with a the chicken. Mm. I'm trying to harvest wisely and use the bigger ones first, even though the small ones are so tender and lovely. Okay. So we'll get some of this dino kale. So this is dino kale, or lacinato kale. Is that how you say it? Do you know? Yeah, I would not be the one to know. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I milk cows. <laughs> Some tomatoes are orange. <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing here is, it's the end of the season for this kale. 
there are a lot of little green worms on this and instead of like picking them all off which i know that might be like the responsible gardening thing to do i'm just picking the leaves that don't have worms on them and i'm leaving them because these plants are going to come out soon it doesn't really matter and you know i don't mind the worms can have their day and i'll have my kale oh there's a good yellow one you will you grab that one mm -hmm. Ooh, it came mm. with the red one. Cool. Look how colorful and lovely. I really hate beets. You do? What? You know what? Bo said you gotta stop saying you hate things. <laughs> it's like, it's just making you hate more. <laughs> hate said, multiplies. Okay, I'm gonna say, I like beets. <laughs> but that's not beets are my favorite. I love beets. <laughs> Bo will be Hooray, proud. Hooray, beets. That's See, now you, you're Bo. making Dwight Shreve proud. There we go. All right, here's our harvest. Uh, if you'll take this, I'll grab these. I'm gonna try to go wash some of the soil off of these. Oh, look at this cute little onion. We should get some little onions. Hmm. They're just small at this point, which I mean, they'll just be like green onions. That's fine. They're not bulbing yet. That's fine. We'll just grab a few. They'll go lovely in something. Let me just toss those in there. Uh, just grab the kale. We'll stick that in the other one. And that way it'll, it'll have to rattle the dirt as much. I'm going to take the whole beet because the greens are great too. And I brought extra because I can leave it with Brianna and she can do what she wants to with it. So the sprinkler is going over here, which is going to make this interesting. Hmm. All right. It's so windy. I hope you all can hear me. I'm going to turn the sprinkler off so we can get in here and not get soaked. Here's some purple kale. I'm gonna get a few leaves of this. So the kale is starting to get a little bit bitter um, just because we're getting some really warm days. Before too long, it's gonna go to seed. But it's still good for now. So I've actually been eating quite a bit of it while I still have it because I can tell that it's about to be gone. So on the farm, we call March the hungry month. Now, we're not actually hungry because we still have access to the grocery store, but historically, in March is when not a lot was producing on a farm, um, even here in the South. But now we are into April and the harvest is heavy and I am so thankful for it. I see one thing. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. I don't know that we'll eat it, but I'll give it to Brie and I bet she'll appreciate it. I have my first artichoke. Go ahead and get this little dude. I don't have my, heart, my pocket knife because I'm wearing the skirt and getting ready to go. So I'm using a box cutter. I do not necessarily suggest harvesting with this. Here we have it. These strawberry plants are, I mean, loaded down. Lots of strawberries. And they're big. I don't know that I've ever had strawberries this big grow on my farm. That one's not quite ripe. I'm not prepared. Let me put an artichoke in my pocket. Okay. Um... Maybe a little cabbage. That would be a fun thing to make. I broke my tripod and I haven't bought another one yet. Inside, I take the girl and I was like, I can't do this. It's too much pressure. Uh, Don't give it I, I tried to pull my knife out and I pulled the artichoke out of my pocket. That's so Perfect silly. Guys, All right, let's see. I think a little cabbage. Oh, bless it. It is covered. covered. Man, I waited too long. I don't think I'm gonna get that clean there in between every leaf. Man, that stinks. This is like there's only two left in here. But. That's why I never cabbage because they always go there. We've harvested them. Oh. All right, you get to harvest the funnest thing. Get on in there. Let's do. I don't know. Probably like. I don't know. What do you think? Like maybe eight or ten, say, something like that. Seven. Yeah. Ooh. They're pretty good size. It's so <laughs> good. <laughs> Goodness, we're gonna blow away. Awesome. They're gonna be so pretty when we cut them. Yeah. Do you wanna wash them off too or no? And we'll just throw them in with the beets. <laughs> all right, one more thing we can take. We'll feast. Ooh. Look at all this food. Are you surprised? <laughs> I mean, normally I just come out and harvest dinner, so I don't usually well, like pull a whole weekend's worth of food out at once. Yeah. I'm, I'm harvesting with a box cutter because I don't wanna walk back inside. It's very home of you. <laughs> if you don't have what you need, use what you got. All right, so we've got asparagus, kale, beets, rutabagas, eggs. I've got some jam and tallow. We've got to run up to the barn and we're gonna grab 
some some cow milk um, and I'm gonna grab some goat's milk so I can make cheese to go on our beet salad I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wish I had enough strawberries oh we have carrots too and green onions what a spread I'm so proud here's the bovine posse over here so hope is doing much better she's still being treated goodness why do I always swallow bugs whenever I'm trying to shoot a video? I just don't know. Look at this baby. Hey, little socks. Someone made the best dad joke in the comment section. They said, you mean he has tall socks? They cover his calves. <laughs> but I'm sure that's so good. Hey, darling. So here's Hope. She's doing a lot better. Of course, they're all laying. And her udder is still really big. I mean, she's still got some um, edema and she's still a little swollen. But... She's definitely coming out of the milk fever. Within about 30 minutes of the vet treating her, she started to do a lot better. So I posted the video to you guys about Hope the day it happened. Like I shot that that day and put it up. So that was only a couple of days ago. Um, but we feel very confident at this point that she's gonna be okay. Um, so yeah, everybody's just lounging out here in the sun. And we're gonna go grab some milk and then we gotta stop by the freezer and get a frozen chicken, so. We looked at the whole thing. But we are not stopping at any Whole Foods. <laughs> the food is whole right here. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know if you know this, but homesteaders are so proud of their food. Like if you're an artist and you paint a painting and you want to show people, that's what it is. Like this is why it brings me so much joy when I go visit friends, especially friends who really highly value food and aren't in a place where they can grow it all themselves. Like I love to just load my car down and bring these things because it's like, a painting that I'm like so proud of. That's what it feels like. Toast! What's up girl? Guardian of the barn. All right, into the milk room. Here we are. So we're actually low on milk right now because um, we dried Helen off with Hope coming in, but we're obviously not milking Hope yet. So that's all right. I'm gonna take a gallon of cow milk with cream. And I'm gonna take a gallon of goat milk and I'm actually gonna turn this into cheese there for our salads. So I need to grab some lemons out of the house. I do have a video on the farmer's table, my cooking channel, showing how to make simple farmer's cheese that I made. I used goat milk in that video because that's what I can eat. But um, you can use cow milk too and just make a great cheese with either vinegar or lemon juice. It's fantastic. You can mix it in herbs and all that stuff. And it's so simple. If you've been wanting to make cheese, but you've been on the fence, you've been nervous and talking yourself out of it, I'll link that video so you can check it out and I hope you feel brave enough to try it. Cause then you can be proud of your food too. I came in here looking for my cooler. I'm not sure where it is. Jeremiah's helping me look for it. I'm the worst at finding things. I think that instead of ice packs with this milk in the cooler, I'm gonna pack some frozen butter because our freezer is super full of butter. Some of the cows, like once we dry their calves off, their cream lines are crazy. And so with the excess cream, we just make butter and then we will give the extra skim. We freeze dried some, sometimes we'll give it to the pigs. We end up with a lot of butter, which is great. I'm gonna share some with my friend because she'll appreciate it. Now we have our groceries. All right, you ready to hit the road? Let's go. All right, we just got to Brianna's. I carried bags in, but I came on my camera. I swear the Asheville area or like just Appalachia has this herbal smell. Every time I get out of my car here, it just smells so alive. I love it. I think All right. Good. All right, here's my groceries I brought you. <laughs> Grocery haul. <laughs> I want you to see everything that we brought. No pressure or anything. But <laughs> this is amazing to me. Yes? Is it, is it growing in your greenhouse? No. Artichokes are pretty hard. I think they probably grow here, especially if you started them like inside. I thought they didn't fruit till the second year. Am I wrong? Um, I don't know. Well, no, we planted those. Oh, they grew over winter, but outside. They're pretty hardy, though. I mean, we had some pretty good freezes. Interesting. I don't yes. know anybody here that grows them. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure. I mean, this doesn't. Make they grew in Arkansas though, and it's like seven zone seven. It's very yeah. similar to here. So yeah, that's my first one this year. There were a few other babies, but I left them. But I brought you that one. I don't know if we'll do anything with it this weekend, but you can have it. We can steam it, and we can dip it in butter. Oh. <laughs> we can all. We can be a, a what do you call appetizer? Yeah. <laughs> 
So asparagus. It's so pretty. Um, so much asparagus. Yeah. Of They're course. huge. They're and beautiful. then I brought you some butter. Did you make it? I did. Um, oh my gosh, yes. And then these are goat milk so we can make cheese for our beet salad. Oh. And then these are cow milk. Oh. So, and then I think mostly that's kale. There's a couple of jars in the bottom of this one. I didn't realize you grabbed um, There's butter. eggs. Oh, eggs. Yeah. So there's no jars in this one. I think the jars are over here. <laughs> I did give a hand. <laughs> right. We're going to do Your excitement is my joy. <laughs> she said, Brianna will appreciate uh, this she farm will. Crop. I will. And there's two chickens in here. I was telling Jess, no one appreciates farm fresh food like someone who has grown their own food yeah. and doesn't anymore. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I know. yes, yes. You want, you want like, yes? Yeah. I like your cards. You always have pretty cards. Oh, uh, yeah. I like colorful things. Ooh. So this soil, ha or this soil, this food has a lot of soil in it, so we don't necessarily have to pull it out, but there are some okay. jars in here. Let me help you. Here's some peach jam. Which it says peach sauce jam because I thought it wasn't gonna set. And then it did. I'm gonna taste it. Yeah. Sorry, it's got dirt on it. I know you don't care. And here's some tallow for you. That's a lot of tallow. <laughs> what is this? Oh, and here's some freeze dried oyster mushrooms that we grew. I just went in the pantry. <laughs> Um, wow, I'm gonna have you guys over <laughs> more often. I have zero credit. I just held the bag. <laughs> really good. This is really pretty. This is really beautiful. I'm glad you like it. Ooh, purple carrots. Yeah, these have like orange or yellow insides. I can't yeah, remember like what the, the variety is. I think it may be cosmic, but I think those are usually orange and they're more yellow. But and these are purple top rutabagas, and then there's like a lot of these because I figured if you got. <sighs> I figured if you had extra, you could use them yeah. later. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna bag some of this up so that it doesn't get floppy. Yeah. All right, guys, we are we have big plans tonight, girls' night. We're so excited. We're going to meet up with our other girlfriends. We're gonna spend a great weekend. Thank you for hanging out with us today. I bless you. Until next time.